Hello and welcome. I am Aruma. So we're gonna play as Venice. I'm not gonna be the uh, the starting Doge, but we're gonna go for the Merchant Prince achievement, which is to just amass twenty thousand ducats worth of wealth. Let's go with uh, the youngest one. So we're gonna be of the Participazio dynasty. I believe we're allowed to have uh, right now one trade post, and there should probably already be a trade post here. Oh, there's not. Well, we're gonna be the first one to build it. <laughs> it's my trade post. Before any AI can build a trade post in the capital city of Venezia, uh, we're going to snipe it. Somehow we have two sons. We've used osmosis or mitosis or meiosis or, you know, something. And again, osis to create two children. Do they even have a mother? No. I just spawned them. So it looks like each adult male will give us extra trade post limit. I believe bastards will count as long as we legitimize them. So yeah, let's go ahead and do intrigue focus. We will seduce the women's. We spent a long time making love in the water and on the warm cliffs above. We returned. Okay, so we're not going to love her and leave her. Let's fall in love. Very nice. A daughter was born. Oh, that's awful. It's not a boy. Try again. Arriving at the ball, someone calls out. How kind of you to join us. May I see your invitation? Uh, you will live to regret this. We've just made a rival. Great rivalry with the house of Entenorio. Okay. And. Denorio, you will die, sir. You will live to regret this day. There is no rush. We will get her. She will be mine. Another daughter, Argentina. Darn it. Her income is up to 42 ducats a year, so we're gonna we're gonna be able to get up to 20,000 in no time, right? In the distance, you spot a stranger dressed in a simple garb. The monk asks if you can offer him room and board for a few days. Who could it be at this hour? Before you can shout at the intruder to leave you alone, the door opens and Santi strides in. Good evening, my lord. I realized that I never introduced myself properly. I am death, and I am here to collect you. Santi, you bastard. I just made you into my court chaplain, dude. You sneaky guy. We can uh, challenge him to a game of chess. I think that I'll take the uh, not 80% chance of death. Let's see what happens. I made sure to attend a minor event in St. Simeon in the hopes of seducing Nicoletta. We're in the middle of something else here, guy. It has only been a few minutes when you realize just how badly it is going. Damn it, no! I'm gonna go for the 67 here. Uh, the wine spills all over Santi's garb. As he rubs a cloth on the re huge red stain, cursing you under his breath, you attempt to restore one of your rooks. For a moment, you think your move went undetected, but then Santi scans the board and sighs. Oh, how I despise cheaters. Oh, uh, we're dead. <laughs> well, we tried, okay? We were a seductive man that was not so good at the chess game. And now we're 14 year old uh, Aguinello. We have a regent, my, my father's former wife. Her opinion of us is, uh, it's okay. She's not our actual mom, even though she is our adopted mom. So would you want to marry me? Would you like to become my betrothed? She's only 22. Like father, like daughter? Like, fa like father, like son? What, I mean, should we just sleep with our mom? Our stepmom? Kind of kinky. We do have a 19 year old. She's pregnant with my dad's, my dad's kid. A daughter was born to Beatrice. God, seriously, more daughters? Damn. All right. So that's going to be my half-sister. Our dynasty is a, it's a, it's a bit squirrely right now. Uh, can we arrange a betrothal between us? Let's just go ahead and do it. She's still fairly young. A couple years older. My dad taught her how to do things. And we know she, we know she can make babies. And so that's always a good sign. I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart racing, and my whole body is feeling strange. What was I really dreaming about? That farmer boy I met earlier, Adriana kissing me, or I should get some sleep. While it's very tempting to become gay, because it's super fun, I don't think we should do that, because it's going to make it a lot harder for us to make babies. So let's uh, let's dream of our stepmom, because that, that's, that's very kinky. Uh, her lips touching mine, my hands touching her gently. I wonder if she feels the same way about me. I will save myself for her. No, I, uh, I'm going to become lustful. She gets me all excited. <laughs> Lust or luxuria. The first deadly sin inflames this character. These carnal desires are not appreciated by the church. And they also might cause problems out of the marital bed. Yeah, but it's worth it. <laughs> I did it for the lols. Uh, our regency has ended. We are of age. We have become an underhanded rogue, giving us some diplomacy. Let's check our uh, our filter here again. Attractive and lustful. Let's try to seduce her. And this one's maybe a bit too old. She's also got an infection and she's one-handed. And that's no fun. 75-year-old quick woman. She's celibate. Well, she says she's celibate, but we'll see. 
So this is the, the kitchen meeting. This woman has, uh, she does have fairly high learning and she's a mystic. Uh, let, let's, let's go ahead and quote poetry. I sure know how to cajole women by reading the wiki. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Nice. We've made a baby. Excellent. Also, we've just also impregnated our wife. Uh, the wife, I'm assuming, will be very upset if we legitimize. But you know what? We've got to expand the dynasty. Okay? So for 20 years, she's going to be mad about that bastard. She is feisty. I like a good challenge. We can get a maid server lover. We have Renata. She is quick, attractive, gregarious, cynical. Look at this woman. My, my, my. Okay, let's murder the current wife. Let's do it. We have to do it. It has to happen. Let's hope that we don't get caught. Renata will obviously join, and she's super, super good at this. It's a shame. It, does, it is a shame to murder a strong woman. But uh, she's already a little bit upset. Our half-brother has become an elusive shadow. Not very happy with us. Should be giving us the slight bonus to our trade post limit. Oh my gosh. The rounding actually applied in my favor. That means we can build another trade post. Where shall we build it? Uh, let's see. Aldecus's opinion of us is currently at exactly zero, giving no benefit, no penalty. Our reputation is ruined. My wife is upset. She knows we're trying to kill her. Well, let's just keep going. Sending you a gift is really expensive. <laughs> Wait, what? So she's super pissed, and yet, uh, despite the attempted murder, she's pregnant now? My lover died of poor health. No, she's gone. It's so sad. All right, I guess I guess we don't try to kill our wife. <laughs> no, that's that's not going to pay for itself. Uh, let's let's just go ahead and do it now, though. I, I think that we're probably going to end up making more money by just having the second trade post. Matters of life and death. With age comes wisdom, they say, or at least if you change the questions we ask. Let's summon the council. I want to discuss the concept of life and death, and I want to look into everlasting life. Perhaps this issue is best resolved by the council. They were hired for a reason after all. Is this the actual, is this the immortality event? I don't think I've ever had the immortality event. It sounds like it might be. Another daughter, boo. And a son, yay, we have a son. A strong son, Agnello. Beautiful. This one was born of my wife. Seems that uh, our hatred for each other is not, not causing any issue with the wet works. <laughs> oh man. Who wants to live forever? You're starting to wonder whether the knowledge exists at all. Part of you will always wonder if you missed something. Well, I'm like 100% sure we just did. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Uh, let's join the Hermetics. We're going to acquire ingredients, write a paper. Yeah, let's go ahead and build an observatory. I do think that's probably worth building. We need, you know, another, what, 19,600 gold? You are sure that you have made a breakthrough in your studies. It cannot be otherwise. The Earth is round and it revolves around the sun. We can gain 300 prestige. We could become the wise, the able, the scholar, or priest hater. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go for it. We're going to publish it. We are now known as the able. We are a scholar. Look at that learning. Just bumped up a lot. And that prestige is worth a tremendous amount, right? 300 ducats right now to buy the campaign. That still seems like too much. It shall be named after one of my beloved children. We have discovered, what is this, a star? Or it should bear our own name, becoming proud we are now proud. Monthly prestige 0.5. That is worth money. That is worth a lot of cash that we don't have to spend on the campaign. Coming down to it, do I spend the money to become the doge or do I upgrade the primary holding? Eight more base tax income. That's that's a huge bonus. Let's let's just do it. I think the permanent investment's probably smart. How's our uh, half brother doing by the way? Any other babies? No other babies. His wife is too old now. Success. No loose ends. Okay. Uh our heir is now unwed. Let's find him a new one. Got a 19-year-old genius. How much would it cost to marry her? It didn't cost us a penny. Sounds great. Bring her over. We got a genius homosexual. <laughs> That's fine. I I'll I'll try. Pot to seduce. She will do, she will convert. Let's convert her. Our wife has died of poor health. Okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, great, he says. Jeez, it's awful. Court Chaplain Manuel bursts into your chambers, flanked by several men-at-arms, dragging Leontia Maginos with them in chains. We caught this apostate in the act of reading the Iconoclast Bible and giving praise to God. What shall be done with her? Uh, but we already converted her. 
Bring out the branding iron. I mean, the fact that she is a homosexual might make it hard. And she's also got scholarly theologian. Yeah, let's just burn this one. We'll find you another one. It's fine. <laughs> ah! All right. You can wait for this other attractive one. We'll both wait. We'll wait together, half-brother. Half-brother spawned from our father. All right, so we are currently trying to murder the actual leader of the Republic. It's a bit risky. We could end up in prison. But if we succeed, then this guy takes over. And then after he takes over, there's only one person with even about the same amount of respect that we have. Oh no, something happened. A tragic accident. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Under suspicious suspicious circumstances. What do you want? Uh, to the most excellent Patrician Agnello, peace be with you. I would like to give you a seat on my council and therefore offer you the title of Spymaster. <laughs> I, just have to, I just have to say, I, have to, I just have to appreciate this for a moment because this is just comical. <laughs> my goodness. All right, so uh, yes, I, I, uh, I accept. I will graciously become the spy master of the Republic. Uh, surely nothing bad will happen to you. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and continue with the killings. It's a bit risky. Young Argentina has finished her education in the ways of intrigue. She's an intricate web weaver. Uh, that's one of my daughters. Okay, very well. So, goodbye, woman. Good luck. Read well. Failure. I'm in the middle of adjusting my new sextant, having just spotted what looks like a shooting star when there's a faint knock on my door. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bad parent. I'm sorry, daughter. Many years of my life have been spent dedicated to the Hermetics. Today, all that effort has been rewarded as I have become the new Magus. My fellows now look to me for leadership and guidance. Really? So... We're just automatically Magus tier now? That's amazing. Sweet. Looks like the old Magus must have kicked the bucket or something. Let's write ourselves a fancy book. And then how are we doing on building stuff? Right now we've got trade posts in Padua and Venezia. Yeah, I'm just gonna build it now then. Leon Galbayo has been elected the new Doge of the Republic of Venice. Okay. We now have the most respect. We are actually in line. The current Doge is not easily killed. Do we have the uh, some Edwed like half sisters? She's not married. Can we get prestige for marrying you? Get rid of her then. Our daughter. All right, let's get rid of it. We're just racking in the prestige now. Check out all that respect. No one can compete with us. What was all that noise? <laughs> At age 47, your acquaintance, Count Liutbald of Padua, died under suspicious circumstances. My son-in-law. Huh. Oh, I, I didn't do that. She came home. Let's marry her off again. Hopefully this one sticks. Look at all that prestige. Dear father, blessings upon you and your house. We would like you to back our plot to kill Giovanni Participazio, my half-brother. Uh, no, I decline. I want adult living males. Do you not understand how this works? <laughs> oh man, at age 20, this guy died of an infected wound and this woman came back. These daughters are just having such a hard time being married. Go be married. I mean, I'm not upset. Look at all this prestige, but still. Like, get out of here. I don't want you. Go away. <laughs> Stay gone. Let's see if we can get spy on going. On our leash. I want to spy on you, man. Wonder what kind of secrets you have. Good lord, is that man well like 21 personal diplomacy? Do we want to go into hiding to avoid this potential plot? We know that people are trying to seize trade posts, but. Uh yeah, sure. I don't want to die just yet. We'll let our possessed wife take over for now. She's she's pretty fine. She's good. It's fine. I've encountered Neophyte Dietrich uh many times while carrying out my duties. I think this is friendship. Yes, he's married to my daughter. Nice, cool, well, let's be friends. My son-in-law, the Duke of Austria. Uh, the stars do favor her. Yes, sure, whatever. It's a woman. She's a baby in prestige factory and she can't make babies for our family. Well, she could, but they'd probably be inbred freaks and then they wouldn't live as long and then we wouldn't get as many trade posts. But then when they die, we would get the money back. Hmm, maybe we should do this. 
Maybe inbred freaks is the right way to go. Let's see. Right now we have uh, in our dynasty, we've got our half brother, and he's been just steadily milking the teat of our family here. Stolen 180 ducats from us. Fortunately, the, the women don't take money. Adult, participazio men at court too. So that'd be one of our sons, right? You? Uh, at court in Aragon. Why are you not here? My son? My son? Like, I would rather have the trade post limit. So yeah, come on back, dude. Someone just became celibate. Uh, you can't marry anyone else. You need to marry someone. You need to make babies for the dynasty, dude. Why did you leave? I don't like this. Oh, I remember now. You're a legitimized bastard, and you never were in my court. You just... You were just out there. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad that we brought you home. You are my son. You are the steward of Evre. She's marrying a dwarf. He's marrying a dwarf? A matrilineal marriage to a dwarf? Excuse me? Excuse me? We kill her. We kill him. Like... <laughs> It did cost me money to get that adult male here, but I kind of feel like it's like it's like a savings plan, you know? It just uh, it just forces you to save up cash by having the men take it, whatever. So, Mr. Doge Man, could you please die? The spice must flow. All right, 400 ducats. Suddenly we could consider. Nice, we have a grandson. This one born by my son, the one that we just invited back to court. They got busy pretty quickly. Good job, bastard. Zimeno. I shall henceforth just refer to all of my children uh, as bastard. Even if they're not bastards. They'll just be bastard. Another son! Wow, we're getting so good at this. Well, it's grandson. But yeah. This kid, I am so glad I brought him home. You shrewd fox. <laughs> After pleasant evening with a very special friend of mine, I found my purse empty. Luckily, I didn't carry that much gold with me. Hmm. Why was I visiting a brothel if I'm celibate? That's... I'm... I'm yeah, I'm quite confused. <laughs> what what were we doing there? Were we just watching? <laughs> just like, you know, going out for a movie. <laughs> okay, uh, my son is betrothed and they can marry. And yes, they should get married so that we can uh, hopefully get that genius strongness going. She's just a little bit queer. Just a little homosexual. Hopefully not enough to stop her from making children. If we murder this guy, we just need to counter murder. I certainly don't like... Why, why is my niece waiting for an answer to, to support a plot to revoke one of my trade posts? Are you crazy, woman? I'll kill everyone. I'll do it. I'll kill you first, niece. Your leash is me. Like, you're in my... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ship you off. Get out of here. A son was born to Countess G Ginevra of Suffolk. We have a grandson that is a bastard. Our niece... Is this, this is the one that I just married off, isn't it? And now she's... yeah, okay. That's fine. Mm-hmm. It's good, it's fine. I, I don't like having active plots to murder me. There's one, two, three. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna murder all of them. Every single one of them. They're all gonna die. As soon as we, we become the Doge, they're going to die. Or be in prison, be in the Oublet, forever. Their, their children will be born in the Oublet. They will be raised in the dark. They will feast on rats for meals. That is what we are going to do, their entire dynasty. They will survive in darkness. We're not going to kill them all. No, no, that would be too good. Too too, too easy of, an, of a fate for them. We have to put them in the darkness so that they may learn to see it in the dark and become murderers for us. For other... to kill other people. I don't know what I'm saying. Just trust me, it's going to be a, a bad thing. They're going to not like it very much. Sure, I'll buy something super fancy. Let's fall in love with our wife. It always pays to have a woman that doesn't want you dead. We are still not the guy. Doge Leon, the target of my current spy efforts, has tragically fallen comatose, making the endeavor pointless. Yes! He is incapable. Minus three health. The time is nigh. We are about to become the Doge. It's about damn time. Unmarried heir? She died of the Great Pox? The genius homosexual? Who only made us granddaughters? What a waste. Alright, let's see if we can find someone else for him. 42-year-old strong homosexual. Why is it that the homosexual women are usually strong? Is that is that just like a, a stereotype in this game or something? It's, it certainly feels like one. All right, we're going to take the 27-year-old bastard just because she likes us already and she's probably not going to kill us. And, uh, oh, no, nope, ride price, never mind. Not paying money for anyone. We don't pay for our women. People pay us for women. We are in the women... That sounds awful. I'm not, I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to continue that thought. 
All right, fine. We'll pay 100 gold, but I'm not going to pay 200. I just think that, okay, this is going to sound really awful. I know, like most of the things I say. Wouldn't it be fun to have lived in the Middle Ages where, like, your primary concern in life was just to make as many heirs as possible? Like, I, I need babies. I need babies. <laughs> like, what if what if it wasn't, you know, 2018 and your babies didn't cost you, like, a half million dollars each to raise? We just became a drunk. Well, we've been waiting for, like, a decade to become the Doge. It's no surprise. We've been in hiding for 10 years, doing nothing but drinking. The Grand Palace has been built. Nice. Our castle has 97.27 ducats per year in taxation. That is crazy good. I do want to build a fortified vault, but first, let's go ahead and find another location for a trade post. Ancona is probably going to be the location we want to build next. Let's go ahead and build it just uh, now. I'm not going to worry about trying to improve relations with people. This Queen of Lombardy is uh, one-eyed, <laughs> one-eyed genius homosexual. That's, that's something. Where is her top holding? Is that lady there? Let's improve relations with her if possible for the future. Why are we not the Doge yet? He's going to outlive me, isn't he? He's just going to outlive me. He'll be like 90 years old. Just drooling in the corner. And I'll still be just drunk hiding in my castle. Maybe we should just risk trying to murder him. If we get caught trying to plot to kill this guy. I mean, the fact that he's incapable means that his paranoia doesn't matter, right? I mean, he's incapable. All right, fine. I'm going to risk everything. Let's do it. Let's just do it. All right, I'll bribe two people. We're gonna we're gonna do it. Any drunks in there? I'm a drunk. Crap, I'm a drunk. I could I could easily let it slip. Well, can I though? Can I let it slip if I'm hiding in my castle? Watch him throw me in prison right before I'm supposed to be the Doge. Never mind, we're the Doge. <laughs> there we go. That didn't take long. Uh, Agnello Participazio has been elected the new Doge of the Great Republic of Venice. Woo! Doge Agnello the Able has inherited the Republic of Venice, Grand City of Venezia, from Doge Leon the Tenacious. Let's come out of hiding, first things first. We still have minor titles to assign. We've got State Inquisitors. 0.8 monthly prestige, which is great for our heirs. I Judge shall be just some guy that's landed that likes us. Court Tutor. This one's not too bad. She's Italian, 32, quick. She might sleep with a few of the children, but that's okay. We can apparently found the Holy Roman Empire. Hmm, that's neat. That's kind of neat. We should try that at some point. Right now, we are the Republic of Venice. The Kingdom of Venice can be created if we hold at least two duchy titles. That's all we need. So we just need to hold another duchy, which means we need to expand, which means we need to fabricate claims. Unfortunately, we are surrounded by the Byzantine Empire, which is big, and the Lombardy thing, which is also big. We could theoretically swear fealty to this woman so that we could... Well, actually, can we even? Must be a neighbor or the du jour liege of my capital. That's fine. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. How are we doing on like retinue? We have a 37 whole retinue cap. Nice. Cool. It's good. Our income is up to 150 now. We can shut the gates. There's an epidemic. We have an epidemic of consumption. Yes, I will shut the gates because I don't actually want to die. Shut those gates. Seal them. Seal the gates. A guard comes to tell you that your son is back. First you are relieved, but the happy feeling disappears almost entirely. Father, let me introduce Zimena. We're in love, and I'd like your blessing. Well, you already have a wife. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she can stay. It's fine. I don't care. More babies. More babies for the baby god. The baby factory. At age 21, your courtier Zimena died feverish and sweating. Well, son, how old are we? 56, drunk, celibate, lustful. How can you be celibate and lustful at the same time? Um, we're also theoretically trying to become a paragon of virtue, which is kind of funny. Encouraging vision will be removed. We are now maimed. Oh, great. Okay, so bad things are about to happen. <laughs> During a hunt with my kinsmen, I am struck by the beauty of a white stag. However, the joy is short-lived as the magnificent beast charges at me. Suddenly reminded of the wonderful vision I had, I attempt to uh, to stare the beast down. To my surprise, it had no effect. <laughs> Protect the doge, I hear, just before the sound of a flying arrow is cut short. I groan. We are now maimed. Your formerly smooth face is now a torn, disgusting mess. You are disfigured. So it sounds like an arrow just took off like half of our face. Beautiful. We're also severely injured still. All right, cool. I'm gonna take a short break here. Things are not going super well for us at the moment, but uh, we'll see if we can pull through. Need to talk to my court physician at some point, please. Could you please cure my ills? We have two weak claims that can be pressed. We're not gonna do those things. Seriously, this this thing needs to go away. I, I need out. I need to get out of here. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.